So a gastric bypass procedure is a procedure where you're dividing the stomach into two portions. Normally the stomach holds about a liter to a liter and a half of fluids, which is about half a gallon, uh, almost. And uh, what uh, you could uh, see is that uh, you restrict the amount of stomach that you have by dividing the stomach into a smaller piece of stomach that's about the size of an egg. So you get that uh, egg-sized uh, stomach connected to a piece of small intestine that you connect there so that the, flu the flow of the food would go from the mouth into the esophagus, into that piece of stomach, down into the small intestine. The fact of changing the anatomy of the intestines, which a lot of people are wondering why you would do that, it actually changes some of the signals that are in the um, gut and it allows your body to decrease your amount of hunger between meals. And also it has major impacts on the uh, situations like diabetes to the point where now we call it metabolic surgery and not just bariatric surgery. Some patients are uh, more appropriate for gastric bypass. Everybody with the bypass would lose about uh, three quarters of their excess weight is lost after a gastric bypass. Uh, with, the, uh, with the sleeve gastrectomy, you lose about two thirds of that. So it's slightly more weight with a bypass for everybody. Uh, diabetics have been shown to have a better outcome with the bypass. That being said, um, the, one of the main reasons why nowadays we have been uh, doing the bypass is that we found that the sleeve gastrectomy causes some reflux in some patients, in a small percentage of patients. But if those patients starting up have bad reflux causing precancerous changes in their uh, stomach, then in those patients it will be appropriate for us to get them to get the bypass because it treats the reflux. With the bypass, the one thing that's also more involved is that the surgery is a bit longer and the procedure is more complex, which sometimes may put off uh, some of the patients. That being said, it is a very safe procedure. Even nowadays, we have uh, recent data from last year that came out and analyzed uh, the safety of those procedures. We're talking in the range of between the safety of gallbladder surgery versus appendix surgery. So it's really very, very safe. And it has a long track record of outcomes. So some patients actually decide on the bypass because they, have, they want the gold standard of sorts. The most important thing for the patients to realize is that any of those uh, procedures carry risk. Uh, those risks are really low these days because we have, uh, we're part of a center that's specifically dedicated and audited on a regular basis. So it's very good, very important to actually make sure that your doctors are um, verified and that they are people that have received appropriate training to do these procedures. Um, the other thing is that um, what we do is that uh, we want to make sure that our patients are as informed as we can get them. Uh, because they need to be ultimately the decision um, makers of their own bodies.